Hello there, it's me, Garapuff. Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we got to this point after getting thrown in jail. That was fun. Uh, and now we are just helping people out after being, for the most part, pardoned. Last time, we also tried to defeat, defeat these guys since they were kind of in the way. I'm still uncertain if they're even important to kill or if I can just run up, but, uh, <laughs> not felt like I needed to, so I did a bunch of side quests, and Shulk, Dumban, and Sharla are now all level 40, with Ryan being close to level 40. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna mess them up now. Let's do this. Alright. Let's get into this. First fight. Resisting that, that's fine. Heart Seal. That's it. Alright, so it's gonna be a minute before we can do it. Oh, wait. No, I feel like messing with you. There we go. Oh my gosh, really? Oh. I'm sorry, wait, hold up just a gosh darn second. Does, not, does that not count anymore? Did it get rid of my Blossom Dance? Nice, okay, we got one. Okay, another vision. Alright, well this is kind of frustrating. Uh, here, hold up. Let me move, game! There's nothing I can do about that. Alright, come on, get back up. Hey, what did I- No! Come on! Got a break, got a break! Oh, mm, and now we hard. Now we're sealed. Okay, come on, encourage. That's what I wanted to do for a while now. That is so annoying. This fight in general is annoying. Ryan, can you do your job, please? Same with me, I should be doing my job, but I'm focusing on someone right now. Alright, now I'm gonna do this. There we go. And that's been wasted now too. Okay, I love this game. Come on, focus on me. And another one. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, this probably won't be too loud. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Uh, and then that happened. Can I encourage you? Oh, you're already encouraged. Sorry, that's fine. So I'm not drinking that again unless I turn down my uh, my thing. Good to know me. Got to break off. I can topple. That's kind of an aura, right? Okay, whatever. All right, this works out. So resists, that's fine. And, okay, I was about to get mad. Alright, good to know we're done with that, though. Give me just a moment. Alright. Let's check what was in here. Probably nothing I really care about. Oh, do they all have very specific... Oh, whoa, hold up. That was something that, uh... Melia could use. Hello there, worker. How are you doing? Thanks. I thought I was a goner there. Things could have turned out really nasty if you hadn't come. I'm off to fix the transporter now. See you around. There we go. Quest completed. Nice. And that is the extent of my discussions with the Homs that accompanied Melia here. I still cannot believe it. How could a Telethia have grown to such power? And what is your conclusion, Seer? That the Telethia were able to gain such power due to the high levels of ether in the region. In other words, our ether protection is weakening. 
And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. What of the Monado? I cannot see. My sight is hindered. However... Speak, Seer. It is not certain that the Monado will bring about our destruction. While my sight is hindered, I have seen a slither of light. Is your majesty not aware of this light as well? Are you referring to Melia? And the young man, Shulk. Could it be that the boy is trustworthy after all? Kalyan, we are on the cusp of a significant moment. The investiture ceremony must take place as soon as possible. Your Majesty, since the ministries are already in agreement, we may be able to bypass some of the formalities. Indeed. But she must still earn the blessing of the people. Might I suggest the trial of the tomb? First consort, such a ritual has not been conducted for generations. We have simply not had a need for it until now. And I feel she is more than equal to the challenge. Mother, the tomb is dangerous. Our records show that many potential successors lost their lives performing the ritual. That child fought and beat the Telethia. It is my belief that she is more than strong enough. Besides, if it was revealed that she avoided such a responsibility, her reputation among the people would be irreparably damaged. I must protest. No, no, no. The First Consort is right. There is much risk, but the rewards are greater. It would seal the people's love for her. Summon Melia. Her thoughts must be heard. I accept. If I am to lead the High Entia despite my mixed heritage, if I am to succeed the throne, then I accept what must be done. I expect nothing less of my successor. The path to greatness is fraught with danger. This shall be your statement to Bionis. Yes, Your Majesty. You are not fit to be Empress. Not now, not ever. Hmm. Oh. Looks like we got them out of a scrape. Shulk! Ricky tired! Ricky sleeping castle now. Good idea. Let's head back to the capital. The sooner the better. Indeed. Let us go, finally. <laughs> Away from this guy's run place. Oh yeah, as you can see, I didn't complete like every side quest that was available. Obviously. Uh, I just wanted to complete enough that that fight could be done. It probably could have also been easier if I had brought along Shulk, but I thought it'd be funner if we just had a moment where I didn't play a Shulk. Don't need to be the main character all the time, you know? <laughs> I mean, I try to... I, I've been trying, at least, to mix around who I lead with and what's in my party. Even though, if I was playing this now, my party would consist of Shulk, Sharla, and either Dunban or Rhine, and it would never deviate. <laughs> So, trying to mix it up has been a big thing for me. You know what? I, I can just I can just do this. Forget it. I'm, I'm not walking all that way. I'm going to play smart with this and not just do that. Okay. Well, yes. palace attendant. Please accept my humble gratitude for, for rescuing the repair worker. You must be tired. Please feel welcome to rest. Yep, rest in the place that was our prison. Despite the fact that we are no longer in the, we are no longer considered to be a part of said prison. Sure. Makes total sense to me.
Everyone's gathered outside. How come we didn't get invited? It looks like some kind of ceremony. My loyal and beloved subjects, Saurian Antiqua speaks. I have been your emperor for little more than 20 years. But today, I stand before you in celebration. So that's the High Entia Emperor, Saurian Antiqua. I will remain your emperor for years to come. But now is the time to announce my successor. May I introduce your crown princess? And there's the lady herself. Melia Antiqua! It's... it's her. She's... she's a princess. Took you long enough. Uh, her silver spoon accent was a clue. But royalty? My daughter, Melia Antiqua, will depart immediately to face the tomb. She will seek the approval of our ancestors and become... Your crown, princess. The people are fickle. No mask can hide that girl's contaminated blood. First consort, all the pieces are in place. Say the word and the captive Homs shall be no more. The savage who discovers fire remains a savage. Disappointed or not, his highness will turn a blind eye to their fate. And their removal will deprive Melia of some powerful allies. As you say. Mother? We continue to endure the contamination of our bloodline by perpetuating this wretched tradition of a High Entia First Consort and a Hom Second Consort. For how long must I suffer these Homs? Do your duty, Tyrea. As you wish. That mask. Melia. I don't doubt that was Melia. But why the mask? I don't know. But she's different from the other Hyentia. How do you mean? Meli not like other bird people. Many like hom hom friends. You might be right. But there are things at play here we can't understand. Wait a minute! Oi! You'll give a homs a heart attack shouting like that? We've got no time to lose. Melia needs our help. Again? You had another vision, didn't you? What did you see? Out with it already! Excuse me. We ordered room service an hour ago. I'm afraid you've already eaten your last meal. Oh. Dang it, Dunpan! <laughs> of all the lines. <laughs> so, this battle. I'm gonna warn you right now about something that I did not even think about until, well, the day I the day I did this. I didn't realize, but these all technically 
have some form of, I guess you could call it, human blood. And remember, the Monado can't cut people. Do not play as, um... Do not play as... What was it called? I'm trying to think. Uh... <laughs> Do not play a Shulk, as the Monado will only do one damage to them. Yeah, the first instance where the game says it can't do something, and it straight up follows its own rules. It's actually nice. Alright, let's see if I can get this full thing off now. Love Blossom Dance. It's so much fun to do. Oh my god. Wait, did I get locked onto you? Okay, seriously, can I attack? Thank you. Got the break. I've been dazed. I can do this again. Am I allowed to... Yes, I am. And now I'm allowed to. When it's already over. Cool again. Thank you again. Very cool. Cool. Got the break off. And this should just be the end of the fight. It doesn't matter. There we go. Oh, no, wait, there's someone else there. I didn't even notice you. <laughs> you did not exist in my mind. Well, you're dead anyway, too, so it doesn't matter. Who are these guys? Shulk. These are Inquisitors. What is this? More of them! Wait. This is His Highness Kallion, brother to Her Highness Melia. Melia's brother? Do not concern yourself, Your Highness. The matter appears to have been resolved. Seer Alvis? I foresaw the danger. I rushed here, but seem to have missed the fun. They do not look like mere thieves. I am presuming they are Inquisitors of the Bionite Order. A group of assassins long devoted to the Imperial family. Ridiculous. The Bionite Order are a mere... Myth. The Order existed before records began. I, like many others, believed they had long since died out. Yet here they are before us. Is Father aware of this? I suspect he knows very little. He may not even be aware of their existence. They live amongst the shadows, never revealing their true faces. But that does not explain why they would attack these people. Wait, could that have been... No, there's no way. Kallion, Melia is in danger. She'll be killed at an altar if we don't find her soon. Killed? How can you be so sure? Shulk and I share the same gift. Another seer? Which would mean that you can see the future? That's why we have to find her. Now. Your Highness. As agreed, you will face the ritual alone. I thank you for escorting me. We wish you a safe return. As history has proven, all those who stake claim to the throne without merit will spend eternity as fallen spirits. I must prove my worth as the next ruler, and I am no less prepared to sacrifice my life than those that have fallen before me. Most wise, Your Highness. Watch your back, Your Highness. Unacceptable. Those who enter the tomb must do so alone. Her life, or death, is in the hands of fate. Those not worthy of the throne are exactly that. You can't seriously think that. This is your sister. This is Melia. 
Easy rhyme. But Dumban! This ritual holds a special significance. It is wrong for us to interfere. I don't like it. But am I right in saying that the rules of this ritual affect only Hyentia? And if some strange Homs happen to get involved, it wouldn't cause a problem? Or is there some rule that prohibits Homs from entering the tomb? No, I suppose not. No pause! Then look at it this way. I don't need to know how big a deal this ritual is to your people. What I do know is that your sister's life is at stake. Cut us a break and we'll save her. Who are you? My name is Dunban. I'm sort of the protector of this Mekon bashing band of Homs. Dunban. I know you. At the Battle of Sword Valley, you held back an entire wave of Mekon with the Monado. You know a lot about a battle you never showed up to. My apologies. We do not concern ourselves with the wars of others, be it against the Mekon or otherwise. I was only joking. You had your reasons. I can see that with all these defense systems, you don't really need to fight. Then it is decided. You can reach the tomb by transporter from the center gate. Her Highness has already entered. Shulk, you should hurry. No time like the present. <laughs> I meant to say present and it sounded like I said president. I'm doing great. <laughs> Let's get to it. All right, we're heading out this way. It is our goal to get Melia free, and that is what we must do. I mean, it's amazing how the guy was complaining about the whole thing. It's like, no, we can't interfere with it all. Must be down to fate. Okay, yes. Um, can Telethia be down there? Because that's what the vision showed. <laughs> if the answer is no, then I think someone is messing with fate. <laughs> and, okay, it's just not too far, so I can just... I can walk. I can deal with walking. I think. Where do I? It's not... Oh, okay. There's stairs here. Cool. <laughs> it was not really explaining it all too well for me, so I was like, what is happening? <laughs> And go this way. I'm figuring it out. Pathways are becoming clear. <laughs> Should be pretty simple, I guess. Move through. And, alright. Up to here. High Antia Tomb. This is the tomb. Defensive measures prevent intruders from entering. You will have to circumvent these to move within the tomb. One thing before we enter. Alvis, you can see the future like me. I am from a long line of seers dedicated to serving the Imperial family. My visions help to protect the Empire. But you're a Homs. Yes. But that is for another time. My ancestry is not easily explained. And my ability to see the future is equally complicated. You might say, I have my own ritual. Is it not the same for you? No. My visions appear suddenly, without warning. At first, they're obscure. Then, as it gets closer to the event, I start to understand. It seems you possess a power greater than I. I still have not seen any danger befall Her Highness. Not much use as a seer, then, are you? Nothing passes you by, does it? Now you see why I asked for your help. What a lucky coincidence that I happened to see you in danger. A coincidence? But I've seen you use the Monado. The Monado has been passed down the Imperial line for generations. The Sword of the Bionis. It is compelled to do its master's bidding. Magnified greatly, it has the power to control the very fabric of our world. Ether. Control the ether, and your will is made reality. I willed it, and it happened. That is all. Perhaps due to that power, 
The High Entia sealed away the Monado for centuries. Eventually, it found its way into the hands of the Homs, and then you, Shulk. A coincidence, or something more? You must discover this yourself, for you are the one who wields the Monado. The Bionis is stirring. The ancestral altar lies deep beneath the seals. What trials await me, I wonder? I must not lose focus. All right. Time to walk with just Melia. She does have the mask on, interestingly enough, which makes me wonder, is that a... Oh, right, you can't change headgear. I was about to say, is it a new type of headgear? Oh, I can't find out. Uh, increased chance of finding rare crystals from depot. I know... Or deposits, whatever. I know I shouldn't be looking at this because we're in the middle of story, but I don't care enough to not. Resummon the last summon elemental. Okay, interesting. Sacrifice own HP to restore the HP of a party. Oh my gosh. Huh. Personally, I don't really think I want that for now, but okay. Anyway, and also I want to very quickly just, um... Let me available an element. Oh, okay. Want to very quickly just upgrade some of these things because I did it with all my other characters because I had a ton of AP left, but I didn't have any chance to yet. So this is me just very quickly leveling up everything I'm actually going to use. These two are fine, I guess, but I'd rather be able to summon individual things than just summon a copy of what I just summoned, personally. So I have no clue how far up this is going to go. We're just going to find out. The elements are probably what I want to summon, uh, wait, what I want to be the most upgraded though, so definitely going to get those up. Go th can I get everything up that's already been in use? Yeah, and I can even upgrade these as well in case I ever want to use them in the future. Nice. Uh, copy feels more- oh wait, I can do both. Okay, wow, that was really good. That was really good. <laughs> a lot of level ups there. And- and a level up. Okay, game. I get it now. I get it. Two thousand five hundred and twelve cycles since last visitor. State your name and purpose. Melia Antiqua. I have come to be judged on my legitimacy to the throne by the ancestral spirits. Permission granted. Commencing analysis of genetic data. It's so cold. There are remnants of ancient spirits in here. This is no ordinary chill. As I explained before, Dunban, the defense systems are designed to prevent uninvited- Well, what does this do? Don't touch- Welcome to the High Antia tomb. Rhine. Why are you so Rhine? <laughs> so dumb. I don't I don't get it. Deal damage by firing elements. Melia is alone in the tomb. Might be best for her to deal wait for her to fire elements after summoning them to deal damage rather than using them to grant herself buffs. However, when taking on multiple enemies at once, try inflicting sleep on, on some to make it easier to fight the others. Take care not to awaken sleeping monsters with arts like summon flare. Okay, game. Thank you for all of the amazing advice. No, like, actually, thank you. I would be very stuck right now, otherwise. <laughs> so, the High Antia Tomb is like... 
Oh, okay. That is no longer a barrier there. <laughs> and it does do enough damage. I can fall down here, though, which is very funny. <laughs> I think in the original there used to be, like, barriers there to try to stop you from doing that. Do I have to redo this? Okay, it appears you've already been Then just let me back in here. <laughs> There used to be barriers there to, like, stop you from being able to, like, fall off, even though you could still fall off. They seem to have been removed. I just wanted to test that. I can also, again, land down there, even though I die anyway. It's interesting. Oh, and there's an enemy, I think. Yep, here we go. Let's just summon all of them immediately and make you fall asleep. And I'll get your sleep. Yeah, fighting. This is why, for the most part, I don't like playing with just straight up Melia because I find some of it not too fun. Since we're bind on you, we just can't move. And there we go. Easy enough. Oh. Another equipment piece. Okay, let's see what you got here. Uh, rain staff. Only does a little bit for that. This is more equal, even though this would be better when it comes to overall damage. Um, and these two are exactly the same. Oh, no, they are not. What the heck? Okay, I don't think block rate matters. At least to me, it doesn't matter. Uh, this. What the heck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why does it have so much? It just hit me while watching this, but this random staff has three gem slots, which is one more than the Monado. Gato's rifle, I can understand somewhat, but why does this random staff have more gem slots than the Monado? Um, let's see. I will increase your agility. What's this? Reduce the reduction rate. Okay, whatever, but whatever about that. Um, let's make double attack and what else? Let's go with ether up. You're going to be using quite a bit of ether, so you know what? This makes sense. That is very odd, though. <laughs> Goodbye, room of the Hyantia tomb. We'll come to a room probably very similar. I'm assuming, at least. This section is kind of slow, but I do like it still. Hall of Trials. I think I was... No, okay. This is just a whole different area. Cool, I guess. Did it matter which way I went? Because it seemed like both would have gone the same way. I guess the game considers this faster, or was like, just pick one. Oh, there's a heart-to-heart -heart here. Interesting. Why here? <laughs> Why in the Hyentia Doom? Is this place going to be useful after a minute? Okay, well, let's go. Uh, it's just you both, I believe, so... We should be fine. Let's go with these. Let's immediately summon all of them. And here, let's, pull, let's put you to sleep. That way the other person can get to dealt with all of these. There we go. And Blaze has been afflicted to other person as well. It's fine. Should be able to take this person out pretty easily. Ooh, inflicted slow. Nice. Some flare. And send this out. Nice. These battles are pretty simple, and I like it. Okay, might as well check out this equipment. Might as well see what's up. Skytop seems useful enough. Um, that feels worth it. Yep, I just need to remind myself. You had Spike, I believe. Um, once again, oddly feels worth it, I guess. Yeah, sure. And again, I need to figure out what you had on before. HP up. Okay, I can do that. There we go. And just had jail shoes, which are just universally helpful. And we have another thing for you to have here, to which I'll make it spike defense instead of just spike. There we go. Easy enough. Ah, and we're coming up to where we need to be. <sighs> it 
This game will take forever to do anything, no matter what you try to do. Ceremony Hall. You have done well, my descendant. Descendant? Are you the progenitor of Antiqua? Think of me as a recreation of said ancestor, possessing his thoughts and speech. But he passed away thousands of years ago. Do not mistake me for a living being. I am a replica of your ancestor. I am merely a projection of what he would be if you were to meet him now. I do not understand. But... I do not suspect any falsehood in your words. It is beyond doubt. If I could feel, I would feel joy. I am not real, but I do not lie. Joy? What do you mean? The results of the gene analysis show Holmes' gene integration of 80%. Estimates suggest evolution within eight generations. Our wishes are almost fulfilled. Our purpose, as decreed by the Bionis, is linked to our genetic sequence. We have spent millennia analyzing sequences to free ourselves from the curse. Only a certain gene set will unlock the mechanism and set us free. I still do not understand. It is of no consequence. I grant you this seal. Is this? It is you who will rule the High Entia, and likely be their last. Revealed ancestor, I. Go forth and rule, my descendant. <laughs> so the spirits look favorably upon you. <gasps> Explain yourself. Only Imperials are permitted to enter this place. I am the subject of Her Highness the First Consort. I need no permission. Mother's subject? No impure child of the Second Consort has the right to refer to the First Consort as Mother. I... I... A filthy Homs half-breed has no right to the throne. Who puts a great big hole somewhere like that? As I explained, it's a defense mechanism. What a mess, Ryan. Friend, not clever touching button. Ugh, I'm with these guys, Ryan. How was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? What about your visions, eh? You think the two of you could come up with something? You know it doesn't work like that. It would have been useful, yes. Pair of fortune-telling frauds. You got us into this mess. And it's not the first time either. Hmm, Ricky, agree with Shulk. Why is it my fault all of a sudden? This time it is your fault. Precisely. Well... Um... Be thankful that we are all alive. I suggest greater care next time. Our journey will be longer, but we can still make our way deeper into the tomb. Okay. We can't waste another second. Melia needs us. Huh. Immediately bringing me as Shulk as the main party member. Well? Nah. Ryan, you're leading this group. You got us into this mess. It's your turn. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I did actually do this. So I completed Spirit with Rhine, which is good. And now I've moved him on to Diligence, to which he's already increasing max HP. And Shulk has finished this off. Improves Arts with bonus effects from behind. Nice. Now let's see here. Which we have to party members. Says we completed quests. Award 
Ooh, that's that's tempting. That's very tempting. Boost physical defense and ether defense. Increases chain attack damage. Okay. Healing arts restore more HP. Restore HP to encourage Jalai. Heals the party slightly after a chain attack. Burst affinity to fill more of the party gauge. Increases chance of a chain link. I'm gonna go with... Let's go with this one. Let's go with humanity. Why not? I'll start over with that. And that's all I need to change. Okay. Well, Ryan, you'll lead us next time, though. <laughs> next time on Xenoblade Chronicles. Let's move around the Hyantia tomb and try to help Melia before, well, you know. See you then. Peace.